Here's the phase line. I've already fitted this on here. Now, this is the one I showed above where I bend it on the jig to get these to get these right so that I can just slide this on here with the least amount of effort. Now the next part is <coughs> it's a little bit difficult because I have I need more hands than I have. And I need to get the top washer up, get this in, get the bow in, and tighten the whole thing down and do that for each of these. At the top and the bottom is where the 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 phase line loops over the, the end of the screw. And this goes down, of course, and the other one comes bridges up. Now, while you're doing your phase line, you have a little excess. It's a good time to make sure that your bridge over this one, you can't see the bottom, this one, that it has a nice, it comes up uh, three quarters of an inch. I've, I've given figures before, but the more you can give it, the better you are. And uh, I'm not going to show you me fumbling trying to put this together because it's, it gets kind of hairy. But you do one at a time, and that way you don't go totally crazy. But the, the phase line is, is correct as far as it's going to fit. It just, I mean, this was just a wonderful thing. Coming up with that. And that makes it somewhat easier. So you put this all together, get your bows on there, mount a bow in here. I don't have one handy, but this is your feed point in the center. Okay, I got those on here. It's uh, it's just you need to, you can't look at three or four or five different things at once. Uh, these are mounted and they're good to go. I haven't secure at the end but that's not a big deal um, this is your bow tie and your bowline goes here here's a bowline you just attach attach the leads to one side and the other attach your coax and you're good to go uh, I should show how I mount them I'll try to do that I'm running out of room on this page We'll see what we can do. Good luck with it. So it all worked out. When I build these, I need to put my attention to what I'm doing. It can be difficult to see how the top, you just wrap the top around the phase line. And then however long your phase line is, you, you once you Make that, make your bridge, make your end bend, you can cut it off. But it came together nice. They're nice antennas. They're not the world's greatest antenna, but I'll tell you what, for 80% of the people out there, they do a fabulous job. And a reflector added just increases your gain. It increases the uh, picture stability in case you know for wind and uh, trees it's uh, it's a very very good antenna I highly recommend it